In order to make a website, you need two things, a domain name and hosting. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to get a domain name and hosting, and I'm also going to explain to you what exactly it is. A domain name is pretty easy to understand. It's the same thing as your website name. So Google's domain name is www.google.com. YouTube's domain name is www.youtube.com. So when someone asks you what's your domain name, that's the same thing as saying what's your website name. You can also have different extensions here. Instead of .com, you can have your website .org, .net, .co, .uk, and many other different extensions. If you are in a different country, maybe you'll go for a .jp if you're in Japan or .co.uk if you're in the UK. The most popular domain name is extension is .com. So a domain name is pretty easy to understand. It's just your website.com, your website.net, your website.org your website.co.uk. So that's easy and that's the first thing we need. But what is hosting? So if we go to www.google.com, we can see that Google's logo popped up and their search bar popped up and their search buttons are here. But where did all this information come from? And the information came from hosting or a hosting server. So that's what hosting is. Hosting stores all of your information. So let's see how the whole process works together. So here I made a little diagram and we can see that we have your computer and we have the hosting. And hosting is just another computer that's on 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, that stores all of your website files and information. So before I said you need you needed two things. You needed a domain name and you needed hosting. So you needed a website name, yourwebsite.com, and a place to store all of your website information, which is just a computer that's on 24 hours a day that holds all of that information. So let's see the whole process work. So we go to www.google.com. We type that into our computer's web browser. And Google on their computer here they have all of the all the Google information but it's not transferred yet to our computer so what happens is Google gets a request to transfer all of the information so your computer here sends Google you type in www.google.com and it goes to the Google computer where the Google logo and all the information is stored and it says hey your computer says hey I want the Google homepage and Google goes okay here it is so it send, sends it to you back and you get the Google homepage now obviously any computer can do this a whole bunch of computers do this a whole bunch of people go to Google every day so it gets duplicated a whole bunch of times. This happens millions of times a day. People go to their website and they send back the Google homepage. So in order to have a website, you need two things. You just need your www.yourwebsite.com and you need the hosting, basically the computer that's on 24 hours a day that stores all of your information. Even though you do this every day, let's see it in action one more time. So we have uh, w, we go to the Google domain name, www.google.com. That's the domain name. And also known as a URL or a website name. And if we just had it like this, nothing would pop up. But since we have hosting and we go to it, Google gets the request, sends back the home page. Pretty simple stuff. So, what do we need next? We need to know how much all of this is going to cost. So we have our website name or your website name, www.yourwebsite.com, or this can obviously also be .net, .org, .co, .uk. And that costs about $15 per year. 
So that's a yearly cost, $15 once a year. And we also need hosting. So this is where you store all of your information, like the logos and the buttons and everything. So this costs about $10 a month. So this is a computer that's on 24 hours a day that holds all of your information. Without hosting, uh, if you went to google.com, it would just be a blank page and you wouldn't see anything because there'd be no information. But with hosting, it holds all the logos, files, and information and everything. So this is where you're gonna store all of your information. So the total to get started up and running, it's gonna be $25. And later I'm gonna show you how to get 25% off. So that's enough theory and learning. Let's get down to business and let me show you how to make a website that's worth thousands of dollars for under $25. So right now we're gonna get our website name and hosting. The way we do this is we go to www.hostgator.com. Now a lot of people ask me why I use HostGator and there's a lot of reasons. First, the ratings are really excellent. You can look them up on Google and I encourage you to do so. You should always be aware of ratings on websites. The second thing is live chat. I really like that if I have a problem or issue, I can just click the live chat. It does take uh, sometimes between five and 10 minutes to get someone to chat with you, but that's really excellent because most hosting companies don't even have a live chat option. And the third thing is it's really easy to install WordPress, which is the software that we're going to use to create our website. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on web hosting. And we're going to scroll down. And there are these three different plans here. We have the hatching plan, the baby plan, and the business plan. The hatching plan allows for a single domain, so yourwebsite.com. If you want to have another uh, website, maybe for you're making a website for your family members or for your friends or something, then you can't do it on the hatching plan. That's why I like going with the baby plan, because it has unlimited domains. And the business plan is too powerful for most people and you can always upgrade later. So I like going either with the hatchling plan or the baby plan. Personally, I have the baby plan myself. So we're just gonna click on it and I like to go month by month, but obviously you can uh, go for longer and save more money. I still have a monthly uh, subscription even though I've had them for about seven years. It just feels good knowing that I could cancel at any time if I wanted to. So I still go month to month, but you can obviously sign up for longer if you want to. So we're just gonna click monthly and click order now. So that was hosting. Now we're gonna get our domain name. In order to get your domain name, all you have to do is enter in your new domain name right here. So we'll just enter in yourwebsite.com. You can also choose a .net or .org. If you already have a domain name, for example, you got your domain name already from GoDaddy, you can enter it in right here. But for most people, uh, we're just gonna enter in our website name right here, and we're gonna choose .com. If you live in a different country, for example, you're in the UK, uh, I have a separate video on how to get a domain name if you're from a different country. So if you need a .co, .uk, .com, .au, .jp, then you're gonna wanna watch that video because it gives you more options than just .com, .net, .org. So if you have a new domain name, you're gonna wanna enter it in right here. That's mine, it's gonna be yourwebsite.com. If you already have one, you're gonna enter it in here. If you want 25% off instead of 20% off, you're gonna wanna enter ugator27. So that gives you 25% off instead of 20. So you save an extra 5% and also I get credit for referring you to HostGator. So I really appreciate that and it helps me continue to make these videos. So once you put in your domain name and your coupon code, 
you can continue to step two. Once you get to this page, you're going to want to make sure that you have the right package, the baby plan, and that you're getting 25% off instead of 20% off. Then choose your username and security pin and fill out your billing information. Now obviously this isn't my real credit card information, but you're going to want to put your credit card information here. And if you're from a different country uh, where HostGator doesn't allow you to put in your credit card information like this, you can just click PayPal and pay through PayPal. So once you're done with this, you can scroll down and it's going to have you uh, put in some add-ons. Now, you don't really need these. So this is domain privacy protection. And what this does, it hides all of your contact information. So uh, most of the time, people can look up your contact information and get a hold of you, but this will hide your contact information. So I trust people, so I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to uncheck this one. And here is Site Lock to secure your website, give it an extra layer of security. Um, we can always add this on later, but I don't need it right now, so I'm going to uncheck it also. And if we go down, we can see that we have 24 7 live chat, free account activation free money back guarantee for 45 days so if you change your mind and you don't want it for 45 days you'll get your money back and hosting we got the baby plan and we got 25 percent off for our coupon credit so the total is under 25 dollars it's 22 dollars and 46 cents and once we verify all this you can click i have read the agreement and create account once you do that, you're going to get a purchase confirmation page. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And remember to go to canutant.org, that's C O N U T A N T.org, for more free lessons. Thanks a lot.